Hey, what's going on guys? It's Spunkify here for MMOBomb.com and welcome back to Bomb Live. Today we're going to be playing a little game called Tactical Intervention, which is a hilarious game, but not for the same reasons you would think it would be, and I'll talk about that in just a bit. First things first, I noticed that for some reason the game decided to not render immediately after going live. This does sometimes happen when you're playing games of uh, different types from different areas. Not to fear, I can quickly do a little bit of uh, magic live as you can see. And boom, the game is back. How's it going? Alrighty here. So, to begin with, what is Tactical Intervention? Well, it's a little FPS published by OG Planet. It was uh, in development for quite a long time, actually being developed by the co-creator of the original Counter-Strike mod. So that's, you know, the Counter-Strike 1.6, etc. Uh, that was that team was bought up by Valve, and then that Valve team created all the other Counter Strikes. And this guy, he actually dropped off of Valve and created this with a Korean company. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the stream here. I actually didn't have it already prepared for some reason, but I uh, hope you guys are doing quite well today. And we're going to go ahead you guys and get are started. Doing quite well. All righty there. Now that everything's going to come up, we're going to just jump in the game. So tactical intervention. It's a mixture of like Counter Strike with. I guess the best way to be is if, if someone took Counter Strike and made a mod out of it, that is what Tactical Intervention is. Which uh, may sound a little bit strange. Also, I need to realize that my Skype is on, on Do Not Disturb, so let's go ahead and do that. It may sound a little bit strange simply for the fact that um, a mod of a mod is something a little bit you know, out of the ordinary, but you'll see what I mean in terms of quality here pretty soon. Uh, the official release is on the 28th, there's a small closed beta that's going on right now, but I'm going to tell you, oh, this is a little loud, I'm going to tell you that uh, you're going to be disappointed, but you're going to be impressed at the same time for a couple of reasons. I need to change these options, alright, audio here. This was not that loud when I first started, alright, so everything's better, correct, back, return again, alright. So here is the, the interface here. Um, as you can see, it's not really fancy, but you know, things don't have to be fancy. The, the gameplay Especially is the all what it's about, right? The terrorists. Ah, so I'm going to uh, show you guys what this is. It's sort of like a, a take on the hostage mode. Essentially what this does, I can take this and I can actually repel down, which is pretty cool. So in order to repel down, I can just, there's a hole somewhere here I can drop down. Maybe if I jump off the side. There we go. Woo! Alright, so as you can see here, you can drop off the side, but it's a little bit wonky. <laughs> as you can see, my cord is going through the the ground. Alright, now, uh, I'm, I'm the world's worst counter terrorist. Let's get back up here real quick. Alright. Push space to jump around. Alright, now, now we're back. We're back. Alright. I can smash through some windows. Oh no! That guy just did a conniption and flew off the screen. So, in this game, you can actually shoot people in like the legs and the arms, and it actually <laughs> impairs them. That is uh, a little <laughs> presentation of the physics in the game. Um, there are sort of propane tanks you can shoot, and uh, when you shoot it, it goes flying all over the place and knocking into stuff, and it's pretty hilarious. So hopefully, uh, it is typical Counter-Strike mode where it's uh, once you've died it's like last man standing in this mode you're sort of trying to rescue the hostages the terrorists are trying to keep a hold of the hostages if you're watching a Doberman right now which is uh, one of the sort of loadout pets that you can have which can mean there I got a terrorist just like ran by him on the screen to see if he comes back up here and shoots him you just went right by him um, you can unlock them, they essentially will run after people and attack people, etc. But you only get one of them. So the game sounds too loud, because I turned it down like super low. I can turn it down even further, but you guys let me know, because it's always hard to hear it, because I'm just listening to myself, yeah, essentially. Alright. Hopefully that sounds okay. It's an actual game. This is not a mod. This is an actual game. It's been in development for quite some years. It uses the, uh, the source engine essentially, terrorists. and it's 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 pretty funny. It's a pretty funny game. You'll see exactly what I mean. So we're gonna go ahead and jump off this, and then we can just 
do has to move down here. And then I can. Uh, I want to take. I want to take this off. I don't know. I don't know how to take this off. Can I X? Oh, I gotta. I gotta hook myself on it. All right. So now I'm hooked. All right. Oh, there's a barrel. Propane tank. I'm gonna follow this guy here. So you can kind of see that there's these little little reticule on the map. That's sort of like our, our focus, like where the guys are. And obviously if you're focusing towards them, you're gonna go, ah, oh, there's a guy, okay, he's on our team, good. There's a dog, I believe that's a bad dog. Oh, there's a guy down there. Ah, yeah, okay, I got him. The game honestly actually runs kind of, for being a source game, it, it's a little bit unoptimized, I guess you could say. Yes, yeah, so you can hold down K to actually press it, and uh, you can talk to everybody in the game. It, it does function a lot like a, a Source game, albeit it's not on Steam. Um, you can even notice on the left-hand side of the screen, the text is even sort of in that Counter-Strike text. Yes? Somebody's saying hello. Alright, so now we are the terrorists. So the terrorists are pretty hilarious. A terrorist can come down here and be like, oh, hey, come here. You can kind of beat them all over the place. Come back here. Where'd you go? Oh, I beat him into submission. Where did the other guy go? You can pick up terrorists. You can choke them from behind using this like body shields, etc. It's pretty hilarious. Gonna do a body roll there. And uh, recoil is uh, pretty crazy. If you can't already see, my hand looks like I get Parkinson's whenever I start firing. All right, I got you guys covered. Is that a dog? Oh, it's my doggy. Alright. Yeah, so this is my dog. I, I can hit like T, and he'll go run over to a spot and see if there's an enemy and then come back. I got you, man! Get out of here. Oh, there goes this. Fly away, propane tank! <laughs> oh, man. That was hilarious. So you can't heal, you can't pe heal people that have been uh, hurt. You can't heal yourself. You can go up to someone else and hit T, essentially. But we've won anyway, so I don't even have to get my hit health going. In. We're gonna get the highway. We're definitely gonna go and do the highway, because that mode is hilarious. That's probably the funniest mode in the game. But you have your loadouts here. This is the only one I've really had time to get ready, which is a Doberman pet, just my simple uh, pistol, and uh, then the, my uh, my little submachine gun. I don't. You get like flashbangs and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, there's leaning, so you can kind of lean like that. There's flashbangs and whatnot, uh, but I don't know really how to use them, so I can't figure out how to pull them out. Oh, wait, you push the middle mouse button. Okay, so you hit the middle mouse, and then you can actually uh, push it. That's interesting. All right, so let's come over here. So I got that civilian captured down from my team, so it gives us extra points. Let's see if we can actually move up some. We're gonna roll really quick. And you can also, let's see if I can send my, my doggy in there. Go in there, dog. His name is just dog. Dogs are always used, canine predators. No, don't be shooting me. No, he shot me through the glass. My dog, the dogs are kind of dumb, actually, sometimes. When you kill their owner, they just stand there. But just wait till we get to the uh, the cars. The cars are probably what had me laughing the most. So how's everybody doing? All right, let's get out of here. I know it's been uh, somewhat crazy the last couple weeks. Um, they're dumb because they've been programmed to be dumb. Also, this death camera is probably the best death camera I've ever seen. <laughs> if you notice, everybody glitches out. And the camera goes underneath the ground and all kinds of stuff. It's pretty crazy. As you can see, we're spectating the dogs just sitting there. This game is a gym, I'm telling you. It's an absolute gym. Alright. So this time we're going a little bit on the offensive. So. In moments where everything isn't like crazy, okay, so here, look, so there's hostages, right? So, 
You can bash these guys like this, and they go they go flying all over the place. Come here, and then you can grab them, and now you have them as a hostage. So now I've got them as a hostage here. I could even go like, hey, come here. Whoa! Dang it! Somebody shot me from behind, and I fell off. But if you notice, people don't die. I guess you could say organically sometimes. Let's see if we can actually keep going around. And this death camera. This death camera is like impossible to control. Look at that. I, I can't control the angle. Alright, so now we got a first person mode going on. The, there is moments when it's not so glitchy where you can see what the developers were going for. Uh, but there's moments where you're just like, I don't know what's going on. But it does, it is interesting. They do have like a lot of tactical options. They just, the options aren't implemented correctly. Let's go ahead and plug the stream really quickly there. Get some more watchers, viewers. This game is hilarious. Like if you have people like all chatting on, on the game at one time making fun of it, it's pretty hilarious. You can repel down stuff, everything kind of glitches out. And just wait. I mean, look at the dog. Just sits there. He's just growling at nothing. Let's see if this guy's found someone. What do we want, anyways? Somehow we won. I don't, I don't know what was going on. He does give you awards, like the rusher, if you're a camper. Team play, like it tells you exactly like what kind of player you are, which is kind of cool. It does kind of like highlight your performance, essentially. But this honestly feels like a mod of Counter-Strike. It's like they took Counter-Strike Source and they, they, they gave it a gameplay mod. I mean, it's fun to, it's like a novelty fun, you know. Look at these guys, come here. And you can beat up on hostages. I'm gonna get rid of you. How do I get rid of you? Your head's in the way. Bring my dog with me. You can shoot that off the... I think you can shoot that. Yeah, you can grab those, I know. Let's see here. Oh man, I just like hit that guy. And then you can like spray it, see? Distraction! You got a distraction. It's alright, I got you. Nobody can see anything. I'll heal you up. Alright. Now I can drop the fire extinguisher. We won! We won! I, I just sprayed everything, gave us cover, we won. Alright, so now I'll actually try to... Hello, Descender. I'll actually try to kill something, I guess. This... But yeah, let me show you something that's actually pretty... Where are the enemies? Alright, so we got our different weapons here. I got a little blade, a switchblade. Hiya! You can kill the hostages too. But uh, if you kill so many of them, it's a no-no in the game. Like, uh, you automatically lose. Relax. Hostages die. I'm out of the danger zone! Oh, defending zone, rather. Might as well be the danger zone. I way to Alright, so let's see if we climb up the the ladder. Alright, we're up the ladder. Go in there, dog. Cover for me, dog. Where are they at? Where are they at, dog? Go down there, dog, get him! Get him, dog! I sent you down there. Here's someone getting eaten by a dog. Or oh, someone fell down, maybe. Can I, can I latch on? Oh, I can. There we go. Why can't I latch on? Woo! There's someone here. I gotta get up. Hello? Oh, I can't. Uh, let's see. Can I? Alright, there we go. Keep calling my dog. How can he hear me through so many flights of stairs? Oh, there's a guy. I know he's here. Somewhere. 
Where are you? Alright, we won anyways. Let's go ahead and go to a different lobby with a different mode. Let's go ahead. I want to leave this room. You have to make sure not to hit quit, because if you hit quit, then you actually lose it completely. And we'll change the lobby here, and we'll go to the west lobby. And we can go in the shopping mall. So the shopping mall, I think, is one of the better maps the game actually has in terms of balance. It's pretty even on both sides, but you have a lot of different side rooms and stuff to go through. Wait for you. You got plenty of room, man. You can jump right in. No problem. <laughs> you see how that guy's holding that, that gun? And apparently I'm just stuck behind this guy. Oh, nope. I'm looking at a civilian hostage, I guess. Is he, like, throwing up or something? And that guy just, like, had a convulsion. Man, this, this auto camera is hilarious. Oh, man. I wanted to see that. What's that guy doing? Kids corner. <laughs> How do you feel about hosting the free-to-play cast? The center of this is, uh... Tactical Intervention. It is a FPS that is co-created by, or that was created by a, the co-creator of uh, Counter-Strike. Uh, in terms of how I feel about hosting the free-to-play cast, I, I'm a little nervous, honestly. I mean, he's done it for over a year. Magic Man did it for over a year, so I certainly want to do the justice. And uh, I'm a little nervous, and hopefully I do my best. But uh, I'm, I'm excited for it because I think it's. A cool opportunity, but yeah, I, uh, I'm not like in a huge rush to, you know, I wasn't in a huge rush to take it over or anything like that. Oh man, that counter tyrus lost his leg. He couldn't actually run around. You had teary eyes yesterday, whiskey cream, whiskey cream or whiskey scream, whiskey cream it should be whiskey's cream or whiskey scream both of those actually sound pretty good so as you see i have like a, a sniper rifle on this one so this one's more hallway based That's but i love this map because i can just take propane tanks i'm just gonna have fun with propane tanks ready i'm just gonna put this right here this will be our distraction all right put that down there it goes Woo! ultimate distraction it's the best so they're like, all right, let's go over there. Keep making our way around. Oh, I heard a guy. Let's go to this room. Where are they at? It's kind of cool. They actually made this whole mall with the background and everything like that. I think they're in there. It's gonna get crazy, guys. Oh, that guy was right in my face. He shot me through the grates. My body's in the ground. And my hand appears to be some kind of clay. In order to download the game, you have to have a closed beta key. This is like a limited closed beta thing that Joystick was running. And then after that, uh, the open beta... Who's this guy shooting at? at? Himself? The open beta, they're all huddled in the corner. Uh, it's scheduled for the 14th with the official launch on the 28th. Oh, that guy came out of nowhere. Yeah, my, uh, sorry about the stream name. Earned 118. I don't even know what the game points or experience are used for, honestly. Uh, will we be giving out keys for this? Actually, there won't be keys required for this in about a, I don't know, seven days or something like that. So you won't even have to worry about getting a key. It'll just be an open beta. Everybody can get in. Can anybody hear me? Yeah, we yeah. can hear. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so now let's see. Rescue the hostages and eliminate the terrorists. What is that? That sounded like uh, Johnny Depp, like, rescue the hostages and eliminate the terrorists. What do you know what I'm talking about? 
already. No! Come on. Oh no, I was too busy watching the barrel. Music, I just want to let you know you smacked me with that uh, gas can. Open. Watching from the doggy's perspective here. I guess I should actually try to play the game and not just mess around with uh, the canisters and whatnot. It's pretty hilarious though. Earlier, uh, when I was playing, the group I was playing with, we weren't even caring about the whole game. We were just simply... I'm down. I could do that. If I knew how. Except, make the game crash. Alright, um... It doesn't actually look like I get... Can I... Okay. I can just disable it. There we go. I was like, maybe there's a way to actually turn it off, and it's like, nope, just disable. Alright, so this looks like the only guy that's not AFK. This isn't good. No, this isn't good. What's going on here? Guess we just lost? I don't know what was going on there. Alrighty. This game is very like weird in that it's super glitchy, but it, on, the, on the underlining thing, you can actually see what the developer was going for. And I feel like if it was done in an updated engine, not the, uh, you know, the old, old... This is obviously an old version of the Source engine. They've been working on this for a number of years. It obviously isn't polished to the same degree that you would expect. That's but uh, if it was like a mod or something like that, then I would say it has a lot of, you know, g good underlining mechanics. That will actually work for the game. I mean, there's a stamina system. There's a guy, a bunch of guys over there. So you can't like sprint. You can actually roll, so I can roll through things as well, which is actually pretty hilarious to watch. Where are these guys at? They just roll everywhere. What? Ah. Let's go back through this way. Open the door. Gonna do some chopping. Yeah! Got him! But I killed a hostage. But I got him. So we won. It, it, honestly, earlier... Uh, honestly, earlier, uh, in the... Uh, before I was actually streaming, the we were talking about this, uh, the gamers, and they were like, it's very, you know, glitchy, and it doesn't seem like it's ready for beta or alpha phase, but there's just something about it that just makes it hilarious to play. I think it's just because everything is like over the top and not, it, it means to be, it, it tries to be serious, but it's, it's, I don't know, like seven years too late, essentially. So it just comes across as like, really wonky but there's still sort of like this charm to it like if someone told me two or three guys made this you know as a counter strike mod i'd be like yeah i could see that i mean there's just a lot of like hilarious things like that flying all over the place oh oh let's go hunt for some terrorists no doggy I killed the dog, but I got shot, and I think I went to the ground. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump out of this. And we'll try to show you the new uh, car mode, which is actually pretty hilarious. Now, where is it? I want. It's called Highway. Let's see if we can go to a different lobby here real quickly and see if we can find someone who's actually doing the Highway. Construction right? Ah, highway. All right. So highway is essentially you have a team of terrorists and a team of counter terrorists. The counter terrorists are trying to get a VIP to this extraction point, while the team of terrorists are trying to kill them in order to secure the package for themselves and get to the extraction point. What happens is this. 
which is a collection of incredibly glitchy car mechanics and outrageous gunfighting while flying around. This mode, you can indeed, you have a driver and then you can have five guys in the car shooting out of the windows. And it's crazy. I don't know how much glitchier this is, but it's, uh, this guy is not actually there. <laughs> Alright, here. So this guy, you have the team of red cars and the, the popo cars. And I don't know why it goes back to the, there we go, so now we're in this mode. Just wait until we actually get in. It even gets even more hilarious. Don't worry about it. And this guy's just sitting here. The helicopter. The death camera is... To say the least, probably the worst element of the game right now. So we got one of the terrorist cars. It's still, it's still driving, guys. It's still driving. Meanwhile, the chopper's just waiting here. I was just gonna sit here. Yeah, I know. I mean, on a, I mean, look at the car. Like, you drive it in style with all those dimples. They shouldn't fix the some of the glitches. Honestly, it's too. The game's novelty right now is because it has the glitches. If they remove the glitches, I feel like the game would still be four years too late or something like that so in general it just makes it for an interesting experience if they made it sure if they made it like a little bit the camera a little less buggy and took out the recoil then I think yeah it would be hilarious now now the, the helicopter is moving once again I, I think he's trying to pick something someone up through the <laughs> I think he's trying to pick something someone up through the helicopter but now you actually get to see how this actually is you get to see how crappy this thing actually is. Alright, so I'm gonna be a driver. So there's three, four drivers, and we have a total of five passengers. Get ready for this. Alright, so we gotta go chase these guys down. So we're in some pretty hilarious cars. The VIP car is right there in the red. You have to chase it down. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. The VIP is out. He's out of the car. He's out of the car. Now we gotta pick it up and get to the extraction point with it. Get in the car. Get in the car. Here, chuff. Right here. Get in. Get in. Get in. E. 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 There you go. Alright, we're gonna go take this to the extraction point now. So normally, the the fight doesn't end right there. There's this whole interwinding thing where people like jump around, and you take it all the way to the extraction point right over here. There goes the popo. Do this, popo. We got this. That recoil is hilariously bad. All right, so I think you have to come up here, actually. Yeah. So I'm gonna go up here. Someone's shooting at me from behind. So your car has its own stamina, and then you have your own health as well. You can't heal the car's health. You can heal your health with that. What's going on here? Get in the suitcase. You gotta take it. We have to take it to the extraction point. We have to go and take it to the extraction point. What's this guy doing? What are we doing here? Can I get in this car? Right, let's go. In the car. I don't know what these guys are doing. Jump in the river? I can't get in there. But you can actually see the floor of the, the map. If you jump too high, you can see there's a box right there. Oh, they're trying to get to the helicopter right there. Go. Oh. I went up there. This isn't the extraction point.
Oh no, it's not the extraction point. Alright, so now I'm gonna be a driver. Again. It's so bad, it's good, guys. The game is so bad, it's good. That is the way it actually works. I don't even know how we won that round, honestly. I think it's because we killed the VIP. But these are the Popo cars. And you can shoot out the windows. I mean, look at that. It's literally like the craziest driving I've ever seen in my life. What's going on here? Alright. Whoa! Okay, we got this. Don't mind me. Get out of the way. Driving a car here, can't you see? Back here. I think there's a guy behind me. But I can't tell. Because my rear view mirrors are apparently just tape. Reflective tape. They don't even look like a rear view mirror. Don't mind me, guys. It's coming through. Get out of the way. Oh man, where did my car? I whiplash, pre crash, and then crash. So you can't actually run people over. If this game came out five years ago, without the glitches, this game would have easily cleaned up as a as a free to play game. Easily. But it's a day late and like seven dollars short. Alright, so now we're the now we are the counter terrorists. Now we're the counter terrorists. And so now Oh I'm in the VIP car, so as you can see it tells me where I gotta go. Gotta escort the VIP to the objective. So I'm gonna be I've had a little practice of this. So I know what I know what I'm doing here. You can actually run over little ammo caches in the, the road to give you additional ammo, which is pretty awesome. I feel like this should be a lot longer though. Because you get to the objective quite quickly. Somebody's coming up behind me. Man, I am like a badass driver. Look at this. I am driving an ambassador. I have a gun in one hand. And I'm steering this car with the right hand. Alright, so we gotta drive close. Whoa, that's not the final destination. Oh man, I messed this up, guys. You gotta get in here. Final destination. We're there. Get out. Escort the VIP. Come on! Get out of the road! Come on, go. Go. Go in there. I got you covered. We got you covered. Go in there, VIP. Yeah! The, that guy went flying at the end. Oh, man. Where did I get my license from? I've been driving for years, man. I've been driving in games for years. I know all the... I've got my license from the Gaming Driving Association, the GRA. I got that when I was like, I don't know, 12 or something like that. Whoa, that guy just went flying through the air. We're gonna do some, uh, this is gonna be some... We're doing some, uh, Transporter 2 stuff right here, ready? Transporter! Shoot him! I'm gonna leave that guy. Oh man, I wish I could have ran that guy over. I'm bleeding. I got you, bro. Hey, come on. Get in. Get in, man. There we go. We got this. Oh, rolling out of the car. We got this. I need to get a heal though. I think we got this though. Get in the, the helicopter guys. Yes!
So you want me to drive backwards to the extraction point? I'll totally do this transporter style. You pick the you pick the race style. I will try to pull off that racing style, okay? So the way you do this is you wait for them to come. And then you start shooting them. Got this, guy. They're on top of the cars. Gotta go catch up to the main guys. My people need me. This car is a, a wobbly mess. I'm still alive, though. If I crash, I'll die. But as long as I stay alive, I'm okay. I'm almost dead, though. If I hit anything, if I hit a pebble, I will die. This game is eco-friendly and they have green windmills going. Produce some power out here. Alright. I'm wounded, guys. I got many bullets in me. Oh, what? How did I crash? I fell out of my car. Look at the escort guy. He's hobbling. He's like a monkey. <laughs> Where's he going? That was like uh, some kind of crazy monkey looking thing. Alright, I want to be a passenger this time. Dude, I flew through the car. It was crazy. I don't even know how that happened. Oh man, we're in the we're in a V bike car. All right, so look at this. So when you're inside, you can hang out of the car, which is the aw most awesome thing ever. Get out of here. Got to reload, guys. Got to defend the VIP. Would you keep the car steady, Schwarzmastic? Oh no! shooting the driver oh my god we're crashed get back in the car let's go don't get shot in the face oh I got shot we got riddled the VIP looks like a, a, po a poo poo po po can't wait for the most Look at this game. I like the top down view. This is actually pretty cool. It was actually like the cars flying apart and stuff. I mean, I didn't expect that. This game is beautiful. I don't think you can control that the helicopter at all, unfortunately. That guy lost his leg. The recoil is all over the... I would like to fly the helicopter, but I don't know how. How do you fly the heli? I would like to fly the heli. Maybe you have to be a passenger. What if we were all drivers? Oh no, it just puts you in the car anyways. Alright, why am I in the gay seat? Oh, I can hide in the car. I can hide in the seat. Everything's crazy, guys. We got cars going through us. Swindler! I rolled out of the car. That was a complete mistake. Oh no, don't shoot me. No! The recoil is crazy in this game. But I think I shot his leg his, his tire out. You can get it out of a car and get into another car, yes. If there is a car you can actually uh, get out of one and go into another, which is fine. You can get out of the enemy's car and go you know, you can get in the enemy's car rather. Um, I rolled out of my car because I don't know why. 
so unfortunately that happened and and uh, I was left and then I got killed the counter terrorist you know just left me there it was a little bit sad use the force I wish all right we're driving the VIP car again let's do this we're gonna take these guys on the ride of their life Holy crap, that's not what I meant to do. It's alright, our hood's still good. Fight of their lives. We got this, guys! Commissioner! Commissioner Gordon, we're gonna get you to the extraction point. Batman is gonna save you. Don't worry about it. The Joker will not succeed. Badly wounded, but we got you. We're okay right now. Oh no, I'm wounded, Commissioner. It's alright, we're almost there. Oh no! I somehow whiplashed the other person. That guy just rolled in there. Transporter style? I know, right? That's the testament of the, uh, of the Source Engine. It takes all those physics glitches in style. It's like... Gary's mod. Make the cars fly? I can do that. Let me think. I'm not sure what, what kind of cars these are. Oh man, this is glitchy. I feel like I'm watching like a... Some kind of war docu documentary. Oh, we lost! He took it away! Game is terrible. All right, go ahead and see if we can find a different one. Go back to the shopping mall construction site. We have there's a there's even an office team deathmatch office mode, but nobody seems to be actually playing the the team deathmatch. Um, I guess because everybody expects to play the uh, the more Counter Strike like maps. By the way, did you guys notice what my guy's helmet looked like? I look like I was wearing like a dunce cap. Like my my head was like too fragile. God, this this camera is terrible, guys. I would like to actually know what's going on. I can't believe they're letting it go into open beta like this. Like, I played this game back in the closed beta last year, and it was like this glitchy. Worst glitchy, but, I mean, they've had a year to polish. What The game looks the same, basically. It's like they wanted to add more features before they fix things, which, I mean, that's okay to some extent, but... Holy crud. I think guys are coming. <gasps> Come on, puppy! Go puppy, get him! No puppy! Oh, at least my pet, my pet got him. But I got riddled with bullets. <laughs> Look at that amazing recoil, right? These guys are like sick or something. They're cowering. Come on. Well, I don't even know why it shows me the. The, like hostages point of view is that a urinal like what is he doing right there what's going on rising evil who else is here this guy's like sick like throwing up right there long story short this game has its novelties man Look at all these terrorists that look the same. All look exactly the same. When I created my character, there wasn't really an option to change the actual look of the characters for each side. You can only create a icon or uh, choose an icon, basically. I think there's one more left. If you look, there's Silent Witness. He's still alive. 
This game would have been amazing 10 years ago, honestly. But it, it is not going to hold a candle to anything. It's like if you're trying to play... This is kind of like a, if someone tried to take... Uh, what's it called? Um, uh, Rainbow. Uh, man, what's the name? Uh, Rainbow. You know, Las Vegas. The Rainbow Las Vegas game. Ah, wish I could remember that. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, but if it was done in the Source Engine and it wasn't properly... Rainbow Six, yes! Man, they haven't made a new Rainbow Six game. They're supposed to be making one right now. But they haven't made a new Rainbow Six game in forever. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Got, I got my hostage here. I don't know how much this actually adds to me. Where's my puppy? My puppy. I got you, man. Go, puppy. I'm out of the defender zone. Oh, come on! The recoil in this is ridiculous. He killed me and the hostage, though. Have to use Ghost Regun till Tom Clancy poops out another. I, I heard they were working on one, but it was just like, uh, what I've seen of it is just like a prototype gameplay footage. It wasn't even the actual. What? There's actually fire? That guy is on fire? They're like burning everybody. Screaming is like the best voice acting this game has. The pups. Rescue the hostages and eliminate the terrorists. Rescue the hostages, eliminate the terrorists. I am Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is my story. Oh, wait! I am okay. I forgot I was uh, counter terrorist. I swapped me. That's right. I thought those were my brother, and and then I just walked out in front of him. The dog. Come on. Let's see what we got here. He's wounded. There's not many games that actually take into account like you getting shot in the leg or you getting shot in the arm. So I have to give it that for their essentially uh, trying to be diversified in that you get arm, you know, hurt on your leg and your arm, but it doesn't really capitalize on that. It doesn't add to that, um, you know, individual bandaging of the leg, the arm, etc. It just has this overall team thing, which isn't very realistic, I guess you could say. Yeah, see that 4 to 86? Yeah, it was pretty terrible. But now that I know who I am, let's see if we can do some uh, sniping. There's my sniper rifle. I will show hide in the shadows and reap my reward. I got riddled with bullets. Got him with a. Yeah, I got one guy. I got another guy. Can I keep it up, guys? Yeah, there we go. Am I camping? Sure. But I'm winning. Oh, I'm out of bullets! I am out of bullets. Not expect that. <laughs> you have to manually reload. And then I didn't pull out my rifle. Dang it. Ah. Oh, man, look at that. They have three extra players. Who's going to do the free to play weekly? We have a new girl called Hannah. She has actually already recorded her first episode. She is really good. I have to. I have. I'm pretty much a, a stickler uh, when it comes to recordings. And I. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I actually wrote all of Jess's scripts. I write all of the free to play scripts. So all the jokes that they use. Can I get that guy? Yeah. There we go. So all the jokes that they use, uh, I write and stuff like that. So I have to say that Hannah. 
Oh, that guy went down there too. Hannah is a, a very good hostess, and I'm excited. Oh god, oh god, no. I couldn't run. I got two of those guys. Maybe three of them, actually. Yeah, I think three. It's pretty hilarious that one of the guys just like fell through. Magic Man is taking some time with his family, and that is actually completely unrelated to the whole Jess thing. It was just like bad timing that they, they left at the both at the same time, but they left for completely unrelated reasons, and they didn't even know each other was leaving. They just happened to have separate offers and, and things come up at the same time. Which is why I've been adamant to, to talk about people. Lord Baomang, honestly, I have not spoken to him since we uh, parted ways on MMO Hut, so I will not probably ever see or be with him on a, on a video. Uh, there won't be an MMO bomb live Wednesday. Currently, it's only this one, so it'll only be on on the Mondays right now. I mean, eventually we'll probably have someone else do it. I mean, that that is a very gotcha. That's a pretty big possibility. Um, it just all depends on who we who we actually get chosen. That guy just like ran off the side, which was pretty hilarious. That was probably the best thing I've ever seen. In my life. Oh no! Oh my god! I am too good at this game! And by good I mean I'm terrible at this game. Get out of here! I will gladly shoot that fat man to kill the counter terrorist. No! Dang it! Honestly, I think this fight's gonna be just fine. I, uh, I really think, I mean, for those of you who don't know, Jess is not, was not the first Freely Play Weekly host. I mean, we've had something like three hosts, um, in the past couple of years. So, there's not, in terms of what Jess does, I mean, you guys know Jess a lot because she interacted a lot in, in the, in the, uh, in this, uh, not the stream, but, uh, in the YouTube comments. But, uh, Jet, you know, that's the thing with hosts. That's the thing you have to realize that hosts like that, they do transition. I mean, it's sort of the industry. It's what happens. People get different jobs. They, they go and do, get different experiences. And it has nothing to do with whether or not one site is better than another site or something like that. A lot of times it's just looking out for the next thing to do, you know, and not trying to, to do something for, for the rest of your life. You know, it's like any other job. Oh, I'm on the roof this time. Awesome. So I gotta eliminate the terrorists. But uh, I think you guys are really like Hannah, you know, she's doing gonna do a really good job, I feel. Alright, so there's the guys all down below me. I'm gonna repel off and see if we can uh, we can get something going. Whoa! Splinter cell, we're doing this. No! Oh. Dang it, I wish it would just cut my line! Because I can't shoot with the dang pistol. I've never killed anybody with a pistol. I've only killed people with actual rifles because of that high, high recoil. I've got children. This isn't good. I've got children. Someone just said I got children in the game. All right, so I'm gonna go on the long side here on Charlie. She's got children, Zaukus. Wait, how do you say your name? Zaukutus? Zaukutus? He's got children! And eliminate the terrorists. Can't shoot her, she's got children! I bet there's guys around here. There always is.
Grenade out. Whoop. That grenade made no, made no noise. Where, where is everybody? I see nothing. Oh, that guy's repelling. Where'd you go? So, I mean, this is pretty cool. You can kind of hear everybody through everything, and it's very much like a tense situation. But it can be difficult to, to find. This map is sort of hard to find people because there's so many levels. I mean, that's the thing. We have this many levels in, I don't know, what, 12 players or something like that? I know there's a guy around there. Come on, buddy. Gotcha! I saved your life. Yes, and I healed my buddy up. Hmm, there we go. Hostages, now with children. So a total is lost, 250 to 405. Let's go ahead and leave this room. What time is it here? Ooh, I've got time for one more highway. One more little highway would be quite nice flying around here trying to take my car in doing some trespass or a transporter to not trespasser I lost the war yes I did frost frosty frosty rose I've never seen a frosty rose but look at my guy down here look at this helmet he's wearing he looks like he's like a bicyclist so you can send the messages for the free to play cast to Michael that is my name at mmobomb.com so Michael at Uh Cat Paw Paw, he won't be doing any free to play cast, any of like his normal shows. He may be doing other stuff, uh, but right now he won't be doing any like the, his main go to shows. Dra backwards driving this time. All right, I'll do that. I'm gonna do some backwards driving. Look at that guy rolling away from that explosion. Cool guys don't look at explosions at all. And I think this I think this picture is hilarious. He's like, gotta go. Agent on the move. Do it for the children, alright. Um, the shop, it looks like a normal cash shop, honestly. Uh, I can show it to you right after this, after I do one little round of this. He's late for work, he's like, gotta work hard, gotta provide for my children, my family. Everyone. This looks good for a nine-year-old engine. Yeah, that's true. Although it can look a lot better. Some of those windmills look pretty crazy. Thanks, Snow Devil. All right, I'm gonna be a driver. I'm gonna drive down backwards for you guys. What was the last stream? I don't know, last stream was uh, War Thunder. That was pretty crazy. All right, so we're gonna kill the VIP, ready? Drive down backwards to kill the VIP. We got this. We got this, guys. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, gotta get on the road a little bit. <laughs> I think we're stuck. I've stuck myself. What? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. That was hilarious. We lost. I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream there, guys. I hope you enjoyed this stream. If you guys wanna watch more of me, every Monday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard, twitch.tv slash MMOBomb. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Bomb Live. This has been tactical. <sighs>
tactical. It's tactical. This game has been tactical. That's what it's been. Ta My stream is like glitching out. I can't even end it. This has been tactical interventions. That's what it's been. And I honestly can't get out of the screen. There we go. Okay, apparently this is, yeah. This has been tactical interventions. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I'll see you next time. Spoke goodbye. Out. Later, guys. This is taking forever to actually get out of this game.